Hey YouTubers, DC here, DC's Gadgets. It is uh, March the 2nd, 2019. And today I'm starting my second round of um, cell grafting, clean grafting. And this is my yard. Um, the box in the middle, the two stack in the middle, was on the right. It was a three stack with that green box on the top. And uh, eight days ago, I threw some brood in the top box. Put a queen excluder underneath it, restacked it. So now eight days later, everything in that top box is too old to become a queen. So I came out here about three and a half hours ago. I just spun the boxes around, entrance in the back side, put the green box where the whole stack was before, and they're queenless now for about, like I said, about three, three and a half hours, four hours, I'm not sure exactly. So I'm gonna go in there. I already picked out a frame. I'm going to graft out of, and I'll throw a graft of uh, 10 or 12 larvae in the green box, and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, tubers, DC, DC's gadgets. I, mean, I can't see squat with these things on. There we go. Um, 3X reading glasses, one at Dollar Tree. One dollar. What a deal. So I pulled the frame out of the. Um, drew in a blank here. Pull the grafting frame out so I can pull some larvae and stick them in the cell builder in the cell frame. Fair I'll talk while I'm doing this. Um, this is my gadget. I'm definitely use my gadget. I'm gonna do some graphs. So here we go. I'm trying to experiment. The um, some of these cups I stuck in the in the uh, colony right after I restacked it. And I took a paintbrush and painted a little bit of honey in the bottom of the cups. So uh, let the bees clean out. I've, I've had mixed results with the um, whole thing about putting cups in that let them polish them beforehand. Um, I don't know. I just last year I didn't have much problem. This year, that was no good. This year um, I'm having mixed results. And I looked in some of my cups. They've been in a box. It looks like I got some like concrete dust in some of the cups. So I'm wondering if that's a problem. I figure if I let the bees kind of clean them out a little bit. It might make it a little bit easier. The um, do a shout out to Ian up there in the frozen northern Canada. I saw his video today. I think he's like zero up there. Uh, I'm not good at this grafting thing yet. Still practicing, but you know, we get better with age, right? Anyway, um, down here in Florida, uh, right now it's about 80. And the sun's going down, so it feels a little better. Earlier today, I think the high was 85. Humidity is still kind of high. It's at least 65 or 70 percent. I had to cut my grass today. Now Ian's got snow up there. I don't know. I envy the snow any. Um, but heat's okay. The nice thing about being here in Florida is I'm in bees pretty much every week all year. Come on. I'm using this little hook tool. Um, I bought it on Amazon. I got, I think, three can of package, maybe two in a package. I had to modify a little bit. I've tried the Chinese tool. I just don't like the Chinese tool. This one's pretty good. I gotta find, I'm hunting and pecking because this is just a frame that was in there. And she's laid up pretty good. I'm trying to find stuff that I actually reach in and grab. See, I'm not very good at this yet. But I am getting queens, so... That means you don't have to be good to graft and get queens, because I am getting queens. I'll graft, I'm not sure, there's 12 or 15 on this thing. If I get half of these, I'm still happy, because I'm, I'm not trying to make a living at this. I'm trying to make queens for the people in the club to have queens if they lose queens. I'm trying to make queens so I can make some splits. And I'm trying to make queens so I can learn how to make queens, because five years from now... I will make a living at making queens. Uh. Now I'm grafting, and I seriously doubt that all the stuff I'm grafting is day four. I'll be, I bet I'm getting some fives and sixes. And I've heard a lot of arguments with people about how your, your day five and your day six larva is going to be an inferior queen. Frankly, I don't care. Um, 
we're hobbyists. We're at the club, I'm with we're a bunch of hobbyist beekeepers. We just want to have bees. We're not looking for gallons and gallons of honey. We're not looking for thousands and thousands of bees. We want to have bees. We like to have gentle bees. We like to have a little bit of honey. I think they all have fun with our colony. And my feeling on this is, on a club level anyway, bad queen's better than no queen. So if I get a queen that she only lays 600 eggs a day, that's 600 more than zero. And we can always raise another queen that, that will lay 1,000 eggs a day later. So I'm not too concerned about the quality of the queen. I just want to have a queen. I'm going to pull the larvae out of these cells out tearing the cells up. There's one problem I have a lot of. Come on. There we go. I need one more. Now some of these are really, really swimming in royal jellies. I find if I get one with a lot of royal jelly in it, it's a whole lot easier for me to pick it up. Look at that one. I think I brushed it on the edge of the cup. I did. Brushed it on the cup, coming out and lost it. Okay, I got that one. Alright, so I got a dozen. We'll go stick them in the box. See what they do.